At Temple, this is where the Garden Bridge was to span the Thames. It was meant to look like this. Instead, there's nothing and it has cost millions. Campaigners are particularly angry. A contract was given to a construction company, even when the bridge's future wasn't secure. It's an outrage. £21 million was spent just to acquire a construction company to do the work when they didn't have the land, they didn't have planning permission and they didn't have the money to build it. This was completely reckless. It was reckless of TfL to sign this £21 million off. The Garden Bridge had the support of the previous mayor, Boris Johnson, who said its demise was politically motivated, but it always attracted considerable local opposition and the current mayor, Sadiq Khan, pulled the plug. Today, TfL confirmed the total cost to the taxpayer will be £43 million. The largest chunk, £21 million, went on the building contract, while £6.5 million went to the design consultancy and £2.7 million went to the architect. Well, it's pretty galling that £43 million of taxpayers' money on, has been spent on a bridge that was never built. And remember, we were told by Boris Johnson this would be completely privately funded. Joanna Lumley said it was a tiara for the Thames, a gift for London. It's turned to be, out to be the opposite of a gift. Uh, and the particularly striking figure, £21 million of taxpayers' money spent just because the Garden Bridge Trust pushed ahead and signed a contract when it was clear the project was in trouble. The Garden Bridge Trust also spent £1.7 million on salaries. £420,000 on a gala fundraiser and £160,000 on a website. TfL will also now pay another £5 million. Donors have also been refunded, including an auction bid of £3,200 to play table tennis with the then Mayor Boris Johnson, which never happened. It makes me absolutely livid that public money has been spent so recklessly by supposedly a charity as though it was going out of fashion. And ultimately, Londoners are picking up the tab here and the taxpayer. And what have we got for it? Absolutely nothing. TfL says it was legally required to release funds and was directed to by the previous mayor. But many questions still remain about this failed project. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.